Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're going to cook up a little bit of blackened fish. This is a super simple, super quick recipe. You know, you don't need a lot to it. It's definitely not rocket science, you know. I'm using about an 8-ounce cut of mahi-mahi, and I'm going to cut that in half, you know, and have two very small portions, you know, because I'm trying to watch my figure. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to spice up, you know, each side of the fish. Now, if this was a traditional a uh, blackened fish recipe, you know, you'd want to dredge it in butter first, but you know, I'm trying to cut down on the butter, and I don't think it's necessary. You know, is it going to taste better if you butter it up? Maybe, you know, it's going to have a buttload of butter on it, but, you know, you can live without that. You know, if I can, you can. So just throw some spices on there. Put a little bit of salt. I'm doing some ginger powder. You know, ginger powder on fish is just fantastic. A little paprika, some garlic powder, some chili powder, but you can use whatever kind of spices you like, you know. You can go ahead and mix your spices together before and have your own little personal rub, you know. But since I'm just doing a little bit, small portion here, I'm just sprinkling on there. No muss, no fuss. Soak it up off the plate, you know, just like they was a biscuit. And once your fish is all coated up, we'll go ahead and we'll heat a skillet on medium-high heat and put a little butter in there, you know. And again, I'm just using a little bit of butter. You can use a lot of butter. It's up to you, but I just use a little bit of butter, throw some olive oil on there because it's going to make your butter a lot more manageable, you know, if you mix it up with a little bit of oil. And once your uh, oil and butter are heated up, you know, you can throw your fish in there. You want your fish, you know, to start cooking right away once it hits the pan. And, you know, the cooking time on your fish is going to vary, you know, depending on what the hell size fish you got. I got a couple of little dinky pieces here. I'm just going to do two minutes each side. Boom, boom. And it's going to be done. And that's the great thing about fish. You know, it cooks lickety split. So just be sure you don't overcook your fish. You know, you don't want it to be too flaky. You know, if it starts to flake in the pan, then it's cooked too much. You know, because you don't want it to be overly dry. You know, you don't want it to taste like a mouthful of sawdust. So, you know, take it off the heat, you know, just before you think it's done. Because it's going to continue cooking in the pan, you know. And there you have it. Blackened fish. You know, and you can use all kinds of fish for this here. You don't have to use mahi-mahi. Use redfish. Use catfish. Use whatever the heck you like, you know. But give it a try. And let me know what you think. And bon appetit.